Hello everyone, welcome back to the For All Family channel, where we aim to provide accurate and reliable information about diabetes and products like our cutting-edge cooling cases that help keep your insulin cold in all situations. Today we're going to cover a crucial aspect of managing diabetes, calculating your insulin dose. But before we start, remember that it's important to consult with your healthcare provider before making any changes to your treatment plan. The following information and calculation are meant to be general and may not apply to your individual case. Insulin Dose Factors Calculating your insulin dose can be complicated. It's influenced by several factors like the type of insulin you're using, your blood glucose levels, the carbohydrates in your meals, and individual body factors. Only a professional healthcare provider can help you determine your insulin dose because it involves tests and careful monitoring of your blood glucose levels. But let's explore the different methods that can be used to calculate insulin doses using general examples. The Total Daily Insulin Dose Firstly, the Total Daily Insulin Dose, or TDD, is a method to determine how much insulin you need in a day to keep your blood glucose levels in check. It is calculated per kilogram of body weight, with a recommended range usually between 0.5 to 1 units of insulin per kilogram daily. So, if you weigh 150 pounds, convert that to kilograms by dividing by 2.2, which gives you around 68.18 kilograms. If your doctor recommends 0.6 units of insulin per kilogram of body weight per day, you multiply 0.6 by 68.18 to get around 40.91 units of insulin per day. This is your total daily insulin dose. Now, remember, this is just an example and may not apply to everyone. Always consult with your healthcare provider for advice. Basal Background Insulin Dose Once you know your TDD, you can figure out your basal, long-acting insulin dose, which usually makes up 40-50% to 50 of your total daily insulin. If your TDD is 40 units, for example, your basal insulin dose would be between 16 and 20 units. Bolus Insulin Dose Next, you need to calculate your bolus or fast-acting insulin dose. This can be a bit tricky since it depends on the amount of carbohydrates in your meal and your individual insulin to carb ratio. Insulin to carbohydrates ratio. The insulin to carbohydrate ratio, or ICR, is essentially how many grams of carbs are covered by one unit of insulin. There are different ways to calculate this, and you should work with your healthcare provider to determine your specific ratio. Bolus dose for a meal. To calculate your bolus dose for a meal, you multiply the grams of carbs in your meal by your insulin to carb ratio. For instance, if you eat a meal with 50 grams of carbs and your ratio is 1 is to 10, you will need 5 units of bolus insulin for this meal. Blood sugar correction factor. Now, before you inject your bolus dose, you need to check your blood sugar and sometimes apply a high blood sugar correction factor. This factor tells you how much insulin you need to bring your blood glucose down by a certain amount. Total Bolus Insulin Dose Your total mealtime insulin dose is the sum of your carbohydrate coverage dose and your correction insulin dose. For example, if you calculated a carbohydrate coverage dose of 4 units and a correction dose of 2 units, your total bolus dose would be 6 units. Remember, every person is different and these calculations should be customized for each individual. It's essential to work closely with your healthcare provider to ensure your insulin doses are correct. Don't forget to take a look at For All Families Cooling Cases for Optimal Insulin Preservation, a key to your treatment's efficacy. We hope this video helped you understand how to calculate your insulin dose. As always, please feel free to drop your comments or questions below. Until next time, stay healthy and take care.